Madlands media. Oh god, Jack's taking over. Okay, three, two, oh my god. Yeah, do a jump afterwards. Okay, you ready? Three, two, one. Okay. Okay, wait. Try again with all of you this time. No hi, Miriam no Adams, and you're watching Madlands Media. Okay, three, two, one. We're and you're watching Madlands Media. And how are we feeling about tonight, guys? Okay, so I'm feeling. <laughs> I'm feeling. I'm feeling good. Good. Great. Yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm glad. I was feeling very tired. Early. Yeah, yeah, me too. Actually, yeah, you got I'm ready, to go. Go. ready to go. Ready to go. Ready um, what can we get a sneak peek of tonight? So We're getting a sneak peek of any new music. Oh no, 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 no. However, however, Harrison Powers. Harrison Powers is here. Ooh. 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 Would you like to introduce oh, yourself? He's nervous. He's nervous. My name is Harrison Powers, and I'm the drummer for Miriam Adams. Gone. He's missing. He will get there one day. One day. Uh, um, my ambition as, as the lead singer of that is one, to play Reading and two, to have two drummers. <laughs> to have two drummers. <laughs> but this is just Jack. <laughs> hey guys, no pictures please. No pictures. <laughs> Oh, oh, he's oh, he's oh, sexy suburban sadness! Anyway, so tonight we're going to be doing best set ever. Oh, best set ever, go on. Until our next set. Until you, uh, which is when? On the 21st of June in Boris. Get tickets. And then there we will have Harrison on drum, not on drums, on vocals. On vocals. So basically, the plan is I don't really want to sing in the band. So we've got Harrison Powers. Thank you. So I don't want to sing in the band. I'm going to leave the band. And I'm going to get Harrison Powers on vocals and then we'll be sorted. Yeah. That is the plan. Okay, Freddie, what have you got to say about that? <laughs> Archie, any comments on that? Uh, he's drunk, don't listen to a word he says. No, that's the thing. I'm probably the most sober out of you. I'm not uh, even that, I'm that drunk. I literally, just because you've had the least drinks, don't mean you're the most sober. Yeah, yeah you're the least sober. I am a But I haven't been drinking. I've been um, smoking a lot of spice recently. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> anyway, guys, gotta go now. <laughs> Hi guys. So I'm I'm in um where are we guys? Castle and Falcon in Birmingham. Uh welcome to LA. <laughs> Excuse me, no recording. Run away, yeah. Run away yeah. with yeah. LA. Dick anyway, ticket at 10. You're welcome. <laughs> Oh, go on, Jack. Go on. Ready? Ready? Three, two, one. Ready? 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 Not need the tour. We know, we know the winner. We know the winner. Yeah, we know the winner. What? 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 Are you still talking? Oh, stop it. Anyways, we're going to go in now. Yeah. You're welcome. Oh, sick. Oh, like sick of all. Punched him in the eye And Georgie Corgi wonders why there's little girl
windows lining up outside his door. Sunny repetition to make all the little boys listen when we say, Don't kiss me. So we are here with a very wonderful Ace Ambrose who supported Mary and was the first support and what a set it was even though she was just with like herself with her acoustic guitar it was amazing how was it like how was it it was weird <laughs> it's like because it's my first gig like in a long ass time and originally i was going to do it with my band but they couldn't make it so uh did a little strip back solo set and the, the audience man the vibe is mad it's like they're so supportive like you can feel the energy is just insane that's the Birmingham music scene though, let's be real. I sounded so pretentious, they're like, well that <laughs> is the Birmingham music scene. You can't beat it though. You can't beat it. Because the rest are the bands, so I mean like, you know, to, to do an acoustic set before two bands is kind of daunting, but like, yeah, they're also lovely man, like the, the energy and the hype is still like the same. Though. Absolutely. And you've just about announced some amazing news about Truck Festival. Yeah. What in the world? Bro, I didn't expect it. This is it was a series of fortunate events, yeah. kind of, because like Robert Carlyle, one of my all-time oh, heroes. I've never seen that. Yeah, Robert oh, Carlyle yeah. does this thing where it's like every Saturday. Yeah, Saturday Tunes. Yeah. Saturday Tunes. Yeah, yeah. He puts like loads of songs on Twitter and coming of age. But yeah, he, he posted my new single and I've been obsessed with him for like 10 years, like total fan going on. And then as a result, I think that's how uh, this feeling the uh, Rock and Roll Club then found my tune and then they made me like a track of the week or day or something yeah. like that. And then they do a stage at the rock festival. And they were like, even though we haven't ever worked with you before, like we want to make an allowance and like book yeah. you for this stage um, at Truck Festival, which is like, like, it's my first ever major festival. So it's, it's big and I finally got a band together as well. Yeah. So. Have we got anything else to expect from you over the next coming months for now that lockdown is slowly being eased, hopefully. <laughs> so it's it's well, <laughs> assume it all goes to plan. I've got a couple more singles out, some music videos. Uh, I'll be introducing the band this week, probably tomorrow actually. Um, and then we're going to have so much more content because we've been, we've been sort of building up during the pandemic. We've just been working away and drafting away and keeping down. So we're going to just hopefully get the, uh, the breakthrough you know, yeah. moment and just do as many gigs as possible <laughs> before we get shut down again. Absolutely.
And it was like socially distanced in the middle of a pandemic, one of the best gigs I've ever been to when in my life. When people got up, just as a disclaimer, everyone put their masks on, so yes. it wasn't the end of the world, we did get told off, but... 21st is coming, <laughs> go to the gig on the 21st. Alright, big show! <laughs> Fuck it out.
It's the one and only Archie. <laughs> no. I'm done. Sorry. That was ridiculous. Thank I'm losing you. my voice. What the fuck was that? Right, you, I love a gasp you get when you're on stage. Oh, you get so excited. Like you you like get it. so excited. Like, oh, you see when you're practicing around stage. It's ridiculous. What should everyone go do now? Go listen to Miriam Adams. And, and buy a ticket for the show on the 21st. It's the 21st of June. Is that a song? No. Who's got the bag? Oh yeah, who's got the bag? Yeah. Now you know. I know it, I know it. Nice. But yeah, thanks for watching Madlands. I'm fucking have my voice. <laughs> thanks for watching Madlands Media. Thank you. Tune in for the next video, which I don't know what it's going to be because we haven't got a gig now until the 21st of June when we're seeing these guys. We're probably not going to film it. Love you all. Peace out. Bye. Bye. <laughs>